so I can wear my bob or my clippings and have long hair. I think she's a winner. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sharon, and today we are doing my hair. So my hair is done now. She looks amazing, but when we started, she didn't look this way. So today we are going to wash, condition, blow dry, and flat iron this new bob. For the best relaxed hair tricks and tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, click the bell so you're notified every week when I upload a video. You don't want to miss it. So first. You want to subscribe and second click that bell <laughs> and while you're at it go ahead and follow me on ig at love sharon pratt for beauty fashion and lifestyle inspiration okay so i hate to admit this but it's been so long since i washed my hair my hair is so dirty I, I just don't even know how i've gone this long without washing my hair so it's been over well, almost a month I got my hair done on the 16th of May and it is now the 13th of June so that is a long time almost a month how many days I don't know let me know in the comment section below my hair needs to be washed I knew I was gonna wash my hair today so I didn't wrap it up nicely which is why it looks like the mess it is it's all matted and tangled and she's just a hot mess so I'm going to take out my clip-ins and detangle my hair. So if you haven't seen my previous video of me going to the salon and getting my hair done, go ahead and check it out. Um, I went to the salon and I got a relaxer and then I ended up cutting my hair into a bob. So if you haven't seen that video, for sure, go check it out. This is the longest I've gone without washing my hair. You might be wondering like, how did you do that? Um, so I just didn't do much. Usually I work out um, throughout the week, but I didn't work out like I've been really bad. I haven't worked out. Um, I haven't done any like hot sweaty activities where um, I would sweat out my hair. And also what has been a really huge saver, like a lifesaver, is this dry shampoo I picked up from Walgreens. Um, this right here saved me because, um, yeah, my hair was starting to just get oily. The smell wasn't as great. Like, you know, it was time to wash my hair. Like, girl, it was starting to smell. So, I got a dry shampoo and it worked out really good. So, this right here smells amazing. It smells, I don't know how to explain it. It just smells really, really, really good. Like a clean, sweet smell. But I love this. And also, I got the dry shampoo for brunettes. Because you know when you use dry shampoo, sometimes it can leave that white residue. And this one doesn't. So it has like a, a kind of a tint. So you do get a little color. Okay, so it's me editing Sharon. And I had to come on here because the whole time I was filming this video, I never said the main reason why. I didn't wash my hair so the main reason I went so long over a month with washing my hair was because I wasn't feeling my best I was kind of sick I had kind of a cold and if you know you know you're not supposed to wet your scalp wash your hair any of that if you're not feeling 100% like if you're not feeling your best and so that's why I didn't wash my hair that was the main reason why I went so long so I just had to clear that up because the whole time I'm editing this video I'm thinking ill Sharon you are disgusting but no I had a real reason and it was because I wasn't feeling my best okay let's go back to the video but anyways I'm having a hard time taking these clip ends out because I got these nails on so these are press-on nails which I am so in love with Can you see they're French tips love them but they're longer than I would usually get so I'm struggling so how many clippings do I have in my head I have all the clippings cuz I like a lot of hair I like it to be full and of course very long so I have like all the clippings I own in my hair right now. 
So if you're interested in how I install my clippings, I do have a video as well. Go ahead and check it out for great tips on how to get a seamless install with clippings. Okay, so this is the last one. We are all done. And this is my poor, sad, dry hair. It's so dry. Ugh. I'm so sorry here. Like, I really did you wrong. Like, I was really trying it. <laughs> I'm going to comb it out. And then we're going to head to the shower. Because this hair deserves some much needed TLC because it's been way too long. She is so dry. Full of products. And my scalp is so itchy. Like, I want to scratch it so bad. And I'm going to do so right now. Oh. This is heaven right now. So I'm going to go to the shower, wash my hair, and I'll be back to show you how I deep condition. If you're interested in seeing how I wash my hair, I do have a wash day video. You can go ahead and check that out. Alright, so I'm back and all washed and clean. I am loving how my hair feels, how my scalp feels. When I say my hair was so dirty, ugh, so ashamed. But we are clean. Okay, so I did wash my hair with the Nexus shampoo. It's a strengthening, moisturizing shampoo. And it smells amazing. So I'm loving how my hair feels. And we are all washed. I actually like how my hair looks. Look back like this. I kind of want to do like a wet, slicked back look one day. Like going out since I have a little bob. And I think it's just so cute that it like falls. I don't know if you can see it, but it like falls right here. So, so cute. Okay, so let's get into deep conditioning. I have three packets I got from Sally's. So I have three conditioners I want to try out. I'm looking for a good deep conditioner. So if you know any, please put it down in the comment section below because your girl needs help. But um, for now, I decided that I would try out these packets, maybe one packet every two weeks or whenever I wash my hair, just to see what my hair likes and what makes my hair feel good, moisturized and strong. And then I'll go ahead and buy like a full size of deep conditioner. So this is a good tip for you if you're looking for a deep conditioner and some deep conditioners are expensive and you don't want to commit to a, a full size um, bottle. Go ahead and try out the little packets. So I have a Silk Elements and this is a moisturizing treatment with Shea, Honey and Silk right here. And then I have Sauce Beauty right here. It is a deep moisture hair mask and it has avocado argan oil and it says <laughs> guacamole whip so I wonder if it's green if it looks like guacamole I kind of want to try this one and then I have macadamia natural oil and this is a deep repair mask so I'm not sure which one I want to do based off of how my hair feels I would say I feel like I need some um, protein, something to strengthen it because in the shower it did feel really nice and soft but it kind of felt too elastic, kind of gummy if you know what I mean and that means your hair needs protein. So I think I'm going to go with the uh, macadamia um, hair mask because it deep repairs and it strengthens and it's a reconstructor. So I think I'm going to go with this one and then I'll keep you posted with these. So yeah, you want to base your conditioners off of your hair, what your hair needs and how your hair feels. So that's why I like to wash my hair first, see how it feels wet and then I go ahead and decide what conditioner I want to go with. So we are going to go with this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to need the whole packet because I don't have that much hair anymore. So, ooh, it smells amazing. Mm. Okay, so I have a hair clip. I like to do sections so the conditioner gets all over my hair. Every strand of hair gets conditioner. So that's what I'm going to do. I also have a deep conditioning video where I like mix oils and I make up my own little deep conditioning cocktail so if you're interested in that go ahead and check that video out so you can see how I make my 
deep conditioners but for today I'm keeping it simple because like I said I want a really good deep conditioner that's good on its own and um, then I, once I decide I guess I can start mixing my oils back into my conditioner but I'm keeping it very simple today not doing too much so like I said I'm just taking sections and applying a good amount to each section and you want to cover from root to tip make sure you're getting every piece of hair but also you want to make sure you get the ends of your hair because that's the oldest part of your hair the most fragile part of your hair so you want to make sure that is conditioned well okay so i'll be back when i'm all finished conditioner is in my hair well not all of it I didn't use the whole packet I will save it and use the rest for later but um, my hair is fully saturated and conditioner and so I'm gonna go ahead with a comb and just comb it through just making sure it's evenly distributed not too rough just lightly combing now depending on how many um, months post relaxer or weeks you might not want to comb out your hair but my hair is very straight and i'm like not even a month post so that's why i can <laughs> go ahead and comb it out so my hair is kind of dry it dried out since um i first got out the shower since i applied the conditioner so what i'm going to do is i'm going to re-wet my hair and then sit under the dryer for at least 30 minutes so that's what i'm about to do so i just like to sprinkle some water on my hair get it back kind of damp wet and then i put a cap on and get under the dryer so you don't want your hair to be dry with conditioner on it and then you get under the dryer that's not good the conditioner isn't going to penetrate the hair and it's not going to do everything it needs to do moisturize soften and strengthen all that good stuff so your hair needs to be damp so you get the most out of your deep conditioner so that's what i'm going to do now and i will be back after i have sat for 30 minutes or more and my hair is fully conditioned and rinsed out and then we'll go ahead with the styling process my hair is all deep conditioned and now it's time to get into the styling process so first I'm going to blow dry my hair but before we use any heat products, any heating tools, we are going to use a heat protectant. So today I'm using the Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Flat Iron Protection and it helps shield hair from heat damage. I absolutely love this heat protectant, my favorite. It smells amazing and it also gives my hair a very nice shine and of course it's going to protect my hair from heat. When I say I love this stuff, I even spray it in my hair as like a hair perfume so my hair smells good but I am so in love with this heat protectant. So now I'm combing through my hair just making sure the heat protectant is evenly distributed and then we will move on to the blow drying process. 
To blow dry my hair, I'm using the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler so it detangles, dries, and smooths out your hair all at one time. And I am so in love with this blow dryer. If you do not have this blow dryer, you need it. It is heaven sent. You need this blow dryer. It will cut your blow drying time in half and make doing your hair, blow drying your hair, so much easier. So a plus to this is I got this blow dryer from Amazon. I bought it and got it the same day. So same day delivery. Y'all know Amazon always come through. I have an Amazon storefront so I will link it down below with all of my favorite hairstyling tools and products so make sure you go ahead and check it out. Now that my hair is all blow dried, it's time to flat iron. And I'm using the Baby List Pro Titanium. I got that from Sally's. One day I was just shopping at Sally's, they had a sale and I needed a new flat iron, so I went ahead and picked it up. And of course, we're gonna go back in with more heat protectant because can you have too much heat protectant? I don't know, let me know in the comment section below. But I think no. So <laughs> I went ahead and applied some more heat protectant and now I'm going to flat iron my hair with like medium sections and I'm going to go through with one pass or two depending on that section of hair. So when I'm flat ironing my hair, I like to leave the heat at 350. I don't want my flat iron to be too hot. 350 is good enough for me. I'm already relaxed and I blow dried my hair so I don't need that much heat. Also, I don't need my hair to be super straight, bone straight. I actually like when my hair is thicker, fuller, and it has um, more body. So yeah, 350 is good for me. And also, I think 350 is best. You don't need your flat iron to be at 400 degrees. That's too hot. But anyways, enjoy. I'm gonna flat iron my hair, and then we will move on. So now it's time to really style this hair. So I'm going to give myself a deep side part. I mean, would I really be me if I didn't have a side part? I don't know. So I have to do my side part and then I'm going to use the Care Care Styling Wax Stick to lay down any flyaways and to just make my hair look nice and sleek. Then I'm gonna do my signature sideburn. I don't know what that little piece of hair is that isn't tucked behind the ear. What is that called? I don't know, but I love that little piece of hair. So I have to have that. And then I'm gonna go in with Eco Styling Gel and an edge brush and just clean up and slick my edges. Now, I usually don't do baby hairs like that, but this day I was like, let me try and do something different. I think because I have a bob and my hair is short, I wanted to do something exciting, like really style my hair, something different. So I did some baby hairs. Uh, not quite sure if I love them. I was having a hard time doing my baby hairs. I'm not gonna lie, it took me a couple of tries. But I think it came out good, but I don't know. I think I did too much. I might have should have stopped with the the three on the side I don't know let me know how you like these baby hairs but I do have a great hack or trick for you guys I don't know if you know but when you're doing your baby hairs to make them stay and last longer so you don't sweat them out I love to use the got to be glued um, gel and then I put that all over each swoop and then I go in with the freezing spray and I go ahead with my fingers 
and I spread it over each swoop. So I use my fingers because you can control the product and you know got to be glued. If you know that is a serious product, you don't want to use too much. So now I'm going to wrap my hair and let it set for like 10 minutes. Well really until I finish my makeup. <laughs> Like I did all those baby hairs and then I didn't really do this little swoop to swoop right here. Are you feeling left out? Do you feel like you're raggedy? Let me do something to you. Okay, lovey. So my bob is washed and styled. I am in love with it. I love that I can do my hair so quickly. When I say it took me no time to wash, condition, blow out my hair. It was so simple and easy and quick. It smells so so good it smells delicious um i want to say that conditioner i used was a plus 10 out of 10 it did what it need to do my hair feels super nice and soft but stronger healthier i love how it feels and it smells amazing also so i love my bob but i'm thinking i don't know i kind of feel like it's giving um housewife which I'm not, actually, I'm not upset. I don't, I'm not mad at housewife look or housewife vibe. Um, it's giving motherly and I don't have any kids yet. Um, uh, we working on it. First we need to find a husband, then we'll have the kids. But anywho, I like this length, but I feel like I want it shorter. I think I might want to get my bob shorter and, um, so I can have a little edgy feel because I like short hair, but I feel like this is in the middle. Like, this is like, do you want to be short? Do you want to be long? I want a clear, noticeable bob. Like, you know it's a bob. And I kind of want it edgy and blunt. But I don't know how that's going to work out when I add my um, clippings in. Not, not sure about that. Tell me, what do you guys think about my hair? Turned out so good. And, of course, I had to do my side part. Um, that signature Sharon style right there. Like, if I'm going to do my hair... It's got to have a side part. And I did my little baby hairs. How do you guys like the baby hairs? Let me know in the comment section down below. Check out these videos next for more beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and of course, relaxed hair content. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and share it with all